Listen, I'm just as mad as you are with the Don, but I got a wife and a kid to look after. And think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? Nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. But if you're six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at, trying to keep from shit in my pants. It's fucking wearing me out, Tommy. Sorry, Paulie, but I just can't. The Don would kill us. You're gonna have to do this alone. I know it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sorry. I can't do the bank job, but I'll help you open a pizzeria. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. Polly's Pizzeria. That's got a nice ring to it. Polly dropped the crazy bank idea once I promised him I would lend him the money to open his own restaurant. I didn't want to see my best friend get killed. Pepe decided to retire from the food business and gave me and Polly a nice deal for his restaurant. With the Don's permission, we opened Polly's Pizzeria. At first, Salieri was against the idea of Polly running Pepe's restaurant, but Polly quickly changed his mind. Polly could run the restaurant as he sees fit. In exchange, Salieri would receive a cut at the end of each month, and he would get to eat for free. Unlike Luigi, Polly wasn't injured in our line of work, so he still had to work for the Don on weekends. There's no way the Don would let anyone leave the Familia for good. It took a lot of convincing from me, Sam, Polly, Luigi, Vincenzo, and even Sarah to convince the Don to let Polly run his restaurant on weekdays. Sam was disappointed that Polly gave up the life like Luigi, but he was happy to see that Polly found his true calling. As for me and Sam, we're still working for Salieri. Salieri continued selling dope behind our backs. Sam thought the Don would eventually fill him in on the action, but he never did. Months passed by, and Sam didn't take it well. He was devastated that Don was lying to his face and forcing us to smuggle drugs. Me and Sam wanted no part of this. Each day we were putting our necks out for greedy Salieri. If we got caught with the dope, then we would have to spend the rest of our lives in prison. Sam devised a plan to get rid of Salieri once and for all. I agreed to help Sam. Unlike Morello and Salieri, I have no intention of becoming Don of Lost Heaven. Sam doesn't have to worry about either of us betraying each other. He knows that I want out from the life. The only thing I care about is living a peaceful life with Sarah and my little girl. Sam has his eyes set on becoming Don of Lost Heaven and replacing Salieri. And I'm going to help him reach his goal. Everybody wants to go to heaven. Y'all thought I was soft as cotton. Y'all thought I was a trick. Wants to go to <laughs> Messed around and forgot I was rotten on my resume. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, then please support me by becoming a member of this channel today. Join the Familia today at youtube.com slash at mafia game videos slash join. Link is in the description below. I appreciate your support. 
thank you.